Have you ever thought about silver? I mean, really thought about it? We know it's one of the best metals to use for jewelry. After all, people have used it for just that purpose for thousands of years. But where does it come from? How is it mined? And why does this silver look like a tree? Yeah, a tree. Let's explore how these fascinating specimens came to be. Silver is an element. You can find it right here on the periodic table. It's dense too, nearly 10 and a half times heavier than the same volume of water. And its melting point is high. Silver melts at 1,763.2 degrees Fahrenheit or 961.9 degrees Celsius. That may seem tough to handle, but artisans from numerous civilizations have valued silver not only for its beauty, but because it's actually very easy to work with. Silver is stable and is both very malleable, can be pressed and shaped without cracking, and ductile, meaning it can be stretched into wire. These properties aren't only helpful for jewelry and fine arts. Silver has a lot of technical and industrial uses too. Thanks to silver's conductivity, it's used in computer processors, printed electronics like RFID chips and SIM cards. It's also used in solar cells to receive light from the sun. Silver is also handy in older tech too. It's been used in photography for well over 100 years. Another 19th century use for silver is the backing of mirrors. Silver has also been used to make stained glass and treat warts. And how about this? You know those silver sprinkles for cakes and other delicious baked goods? Well, the silver ones are coated with real silver. This is a very easy, easy way to really spruce up your cake. Silver is most commonly found within other minerals, like acanthite, calargarite, and prustite. And silver ore looks pretty much like how you'd imagine a mined metal to look, like a particularly unimpressive rock. But there's also something called native silver. Native silver is still in its metallic form, and it's either pure silver or an alloy. Some specimens of native silver possess an otherworldly beauty. Sometimes it appears to grow like a tree. There's even a name for it. Arborescent silver is tree-like. To remember that, just think of Arbor Day, the holiday for planting trees. When you care for trees, you'll hear the birds sing. But that's not the only plant-like structure native silver can resemble. Dendritic silver looks like ferns. The place to look for native silver is around hydrothermal hotspots, or rather, former hotspots. The heat and pressure and cracking of the earth can lead to pockets and fissures, and the hot silver, over 900 degrees Celsius, fills in the gaps. Even though these silver trees are pretty rare, mythological silver trees have a long history and stories from Celtic mythology. The silver branch of an apple tree represented passage into the underworld. It was also wielded by fairies and gods, a symbolic scepter for anyone who knew the divine secrets of life and death. Have you ever stumbled upon a perfect specimen of native silver? If so, please, please tell us all about it in the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on precious metals and gemstones, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.